Some big breaking here on Republic, uh, getting in more details on the Goraknath attack investigation. Uh, we are getting to know now that during the course of the hearing, the prosecution has alleged that Murtaza Abbasi is associated with terror groups. It is also alleged that he was collecting funds for terror organizations. So this is the big breaking right now. We know that he's already been accused, the accused is under charge under UAAPA already and he is in judicial custody but during the investigation we are knowing here on Republic TV that it is alleged that Murtaza is associated with terror groups and he has been collecting funds for these terror organizations so these details just coming out on Republic uh, Ananya is uh, joining me live from the newsroom on this uh, story. Ananya, what are the details that we are picking up? Well, yes, uh, Shivangi, uh, what uh, what we are picking up from our sources in the UPATS and uh, uh, the legal sources uh, pertaining to Murtaza's legal team is that uh, he has been charged under various sections of the UAPA, that is the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act. He's charged under Section 16, which is regarding uh, being a member of, uh, for terrorist activity. Uh, Section 18, which is for being a member of a terror organization or a terror group. Uh, Section 40, which is relating to funding of a terror organization. So these are some sections that have been added. Apart from this, the, the Uttar Pradesh Anti-Terrorism Squad, that is the UPATS, has also alleged that he was collecting funds for various terror organizations. Remember, earlier in the day, he was uh, produced before uh, a special uh, uh, court uh, which deals with UAP offenses, and he was sent. Uh, he was sent to 14 days of judicial remand uh, uh, of uh, uh, of the court. And remember that uh, this is a big breakthrough for the UPATS because uh, the investigation is no more blind they are uh, going in deeper and digging deeper and hence uh, uh, murtaza has now been sent to judicial custody but then big revelations coming in from the sources uh, uh, the court has been informed that he was a member of uh, uh, terror organizations that were collecting funds for them uh, so big breakthrough coming in from the uttar pradesh uh, anti-terrorism squad information has been given to the court uh, uh, asking the court to send him to judicial custody and he's been sent so Right, Ananya, thank you. Thank you for those details. With that, you're right. It's a big breakthrough. It's also the big breaking here on Republic that Murtaza Abbasi has been alleged, the prosecution is alleging that he is associated with terror groups. We'll, of course, be tracking the story as it develops further. As the rift between Akhilesh Yadav and Shivpal Singh Yadav is now out in open, Another Yadav Parivar member, Aparna Yadav, has come out and taken a dig at Akhilesh Yadav. Aparna Yadav, during a program of BJP, has said that uh, some people uh, during the time of uh, campaigning for the Uttar Pradesh elections had said that uh, Yogi Adhanath must be ready to go back to Goraknath temple and now Yogi Adhanath will show them their real place. Uh, this statement has come at a time when the rift between Akhilesh Yadav and Shivpal Singh Yadav is now out and open and we have also seen the kinds of uh, meetings those have taken place uh, between Shivpal Singh Yadav and uh, Yogi Adityanath. Um, at the same time, uh, Sukhram Yadav, who is also member of parliament from Samajwadi Party, has praised uh, PM Modi and Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath after meeting with uh, these two top leaders. Uh, now we'll have to wait and watch as to how the Samajwadi Party is going to react on this statement of Aparna Yadav. With Anil Sharma and Pish Mishra in Delhi for Republic TV.